Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to address the question, is the bench press worth doing? Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, so kind of the state of the modern uh, lifting industry. I get a lot of questions, and these are honest questions from from lifters. Is the bench press worth doing? You know, for hypertrophy, and we can carry this over to any lift. Is the squat worth doing? Is the deadlift worth doing? Is the barbell roll worth doing? I get a lot. Is the overhead press worth doing? It's gotten to the point in this industry where we are in such a clusterfuck where we have the average lifter so confused that many of them are asking these questions. Are the big lifts, are the big impactful lifts worth doing, right? Because someone out there somewhere is making a video right now about the game-changing exercise or why you don't need the de uh, bench press or why the best bench press is an optimal whatever whatever for chest development and so on and so forth we've we've gotten so good at confusing the average lifter that there is literally a higher percentage of folks that either think these lifts aren't that quality or that they're just ego lifts or, you know, that we don't need these big compounds or the big compounds are too punishing or, or whatever the case is. We've, we've put these fears into these lifters or, or they simply believe that all these other exercises, uh, these new creations, these alternatives are somehow more impactful. And what this really does is it, can it can pull people off course now it's not that these lifts are magic it's not that the bench press or deadlift or or any lift like this is specifically magic or required they are not but what we are kind of doing is weakening the whole lifting psyche the lifting uh community we're we're weakening them um by almost pulling out from underneath them the biggest, most important exercises. And it, it goes beyond that, right? We, we are kind of, uh, there's this fringe, uh, niche, this certain segment of the lifting community that's just taking a sledgehammer to the, the, the what they consider the old tower, right? The, the old big lifts, uh, the, the comp, the big compound lifts, the dumbbell and barbell lifts, you know, the, the brute force style of training, which is the, the meat and potatoes of massive iron. These guys, you know, ha there's this big base out there that wants to find an easier way. Uh, these lifts are hard, right? These lifts are challenging. And uh, you have these guys out there that are just taking a sledgehammer to this old, you know, <laughs> brick tower, so to speak, and and uh, and, cr and and just bringing it down into a pile of rubble. And you you have all these lifters around it, like trying to figure out now how to piece together a good program without some of these big lifts, right? It's creating a lot of confusion. Uh, it's going to create a lot of frustration, and quite honestly. It's going to create a lot of bad, mediocre, subpar results. Now, I want to circle back and say that no lift in and of itself is magic. But we have to be careful as educators, as coaches, as communicators as to what is important. Asking the, the fact that people are asking the question whether the bench press is worth it is a symptom of a disease. And that disease is a fear. We're putting fear of a single exercise into the brain, right, of, of these lifters. And that's the wrong way to look at things. When it comes to you or me or anybody else, we have to understand that no single lift is magic, right? But we need a big pool of impactful lifts to build muscle. We need lifts that are going to have that are going to challenge us. 
We can't run away from challenging movements. We can't run away from hard work and hard training. In fact, it has to be the opposite. We have to educate folks that we have to run towards hard training. We have to embrace hard training. It, this isn't about feel, like which lifts just feel the best, right? Some of them aren't going to feel great, but though we need some of these lifts. We need a majority of our lifts to be like this, to be challenging. I want you guys to understand it's not about a specific lift. Um, questions like, is the bench press worth doing are just silly. They just completely miss the point and they, they take everybody and they fly over the point, right? They just completely overshoot the point. The point is one lift isn't important. We need a good quality group of exercises for each body part that are highly impactful, that are hard, that we don't necessarily want to do because they are hard. These are the things that are going to change us in the gym. These are the things we need to embrace even though we don't want to embrace them. It doesn't have to be the bench press. It doesn't have to be the squat. Doesn't have to be the deadlift. If you don't want to do these exercises, that's fine. You know, the question, do we need the bench press, right? Or is the bench press the best? Who cares, right? What you should be asking is, what quality group of exercises can I put together that will challenge me, that I might fear a little bit when I go into the gym and that are just hard training. So the next time you guys see one of these videos, you know, is a bench press worth doing? Is a deadlift worth doing? Is the barbell row worth doing? All of them are worth doing. Anything hard is worth doing. That doesn't mean it's going to be the perfect lift for you, your exercise history, your limb links and leverages, your low back health, whatever. Uh, it doesn't mean every lift you have to do just because they're impactful. And not every lift is going to be perfect for you. But when we start to ask questions like this, we start to almost encourage people in mass to, as a group, just to toss them overboard. This is absolutely wrong. We need to assess lifts on an individual basis. And even if you don't want to do the bench press, you better have some big ass pressing movements in your plan because if you want to build, build a big chest, there aren't many movements other than presses. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.